stormwater mural project is an idea to concentrate education in an area where we have a lot of people gather. And downtown is a great example of that. We are part of a new football conference. We have annual large events that occur in the downtown area and special events that occur just one night alone. Our hope from this is the thousands of people that come here and visit and the thousands of students that come here each year will learn a little bit about stormwater and how it affects them in their lives and the importance of making sure our creeks and streams stay clean. Art affects all of us in, in different ways and so uh, we're very visual people. We, we like to see things and so those visual reminders often trigger things into us. We're creatures of habit so when we get used to doing something in some way sometimes it takes that visual reminder to change our habits. About three years ago I went around and created a stencil of a turtle with some waves on it. I did that in the spring and later in the fall when I knew some of the bigger events were coming up in downtown Columbia. I got quite a response from that and thought to myself, wow, if there was only a way we could get professional people to do this. When I did a lot of research on this, and I found that uh, projects like this have been done all over the country. Springfield, Missouri being one. Springfield's done this for the last two years. I've also found places in England, Brazil, Australia where they've had people do the exact same thing. This is our sixth year for the Roots and Blues Barbecue Festival. Last year we painted a mural with the Blues in the Schools kids on the east side of Columbia Academy of Music. So it was a wonderful thing for downtown and the district. And really a, a, an opportunity to shine a spotlight and to educate folks about Blues in Schools. So I think with that the city approached us about educating folks on the storm drains and how we can do a better job of keeping those clean because they feed into our, our watersheds. There are 15 watersheds within the city of Columbia, Flat Branch being one and the largest being the Hinkson. Everyone lives in a watershed, whether you live in the city, the county, the state of Missouri, or the United States of America and the world. And what we do in that watershed has an effect on everyone else in it. 1% of the water worldwide is drinkable, and we're polluting the rest. It's people pollution. You know, don't throw cigarette butts, um, cans, bottles, etc., trash, grass clippings, anything um, into the storm drains. We want to state that Roots and Blues is just kind of the vehicle we're using to get this project kicked off. We certainly don't want people to think that it's the Roots and Blues Festival downtown that causes a lot of problems with our stormwater inlets uh, and people putting inappropriate materials in there. And so that kind of goes into this is a lasting visual indicator to all of us, a visual educational component that we don't want to put people trash into our stormwater because that's going to end up not only in our local creeks such as Flat Branch and Hinkson, but it's gonna end up in the Missouri River eventually, the Mississippi and the Gulf of Mexico. So it's really kind of that think local but act global that we talked about many, many times. I believe I talked to Steve about the uh, Storm Green Project. He had been talking to Mike Hemos about it. And I said, sure, I'll do it. And, and he said, well, can you get another artist? And I said, oh yeah, no problem. My family and I have lived in El Salvador for seven and a half years and it was the first time that my heart and my eyes were open to the crisis of clean water and sanitation. Uh, in El Salvador, less than half of the rural, rural population has access to clean water and waterborne illnesses is the number one killer of infants and children. And learning about those statistics and seeing that firsthand um, just broke my heart. So to be an active participant here locally to raise awareness of how important water sanitation and quality is, it was something I was enthusiastic about. Flat Branch Park especially has a really bad problem with littering. And so that was part of the reason that I chose that one. I think really it was uh, actually having a drought. So I've been thinking more about water and, you know, you kind of take it for granted. And then after talking to the city guy about the different ways that water can get polluted, it seemed like a, a really good idea to make these pieces of art. I looked and said, a chance to do basically graffiti on the street and get away with it? Absolutely. And so when I designed it, it's nice and pretty and clean up on the top, but then there's a hole going down in the street let people know that even though you're doing this, you know, all this stuff that you just dump on the street when you go to your, your football games and your street concerts and all, it's all falling right back into our rivers. 
Now, I wanted it to look like one of my drawings, and if you've seen my drawings, they're all very highly detailed uh, pen and ink drawings. But the tiger, I wanted, to, I wanted to put one over at the university, or near the university, but I didn't want it to look traditional. I didn't want it to, to look like the, what you would expect to show up there. I knew that I wanted to do some sort of rushing water, and I just picked the koi pond because I thought it would be uh, something interesting with the colorful fish and the lily pads and hopefully it would make people think of the beauty in nature around them. It's an anamorphic projection and I, I love to mess around with uh, perspective and, and so that was a, a fun exercise to do and uh, part of the image is the shark leaping out of the water. I like that coming forward type of illustration. Where I'm at is the parking garage. There's a lot of business people coming back and forth that were commenting about who, how cool it was. But all of the obvious just people on the street and the students and all coming by too, it was really fascinating the cross section that came through that area. A guy came by, a guy who works for the city, he just said, mmm, simple and it tells a story. And I thought that was great. I thought, like, wow, yes, thanks. And then um, a big SUV had come by, it was on the other side of the street, and a little girl was in the back and she leaned, leaned out and just said, I like your bird! So that made my day. Some have asked to be a participant in it and um, that's been a fun element as well to let them paint a freckle on the octopus or be a part of the project because it's about the community. It's something that I think is important to involve the community and to get the community enthusiastic about. You know, one of the amazing things about this project is these are all professional artists who've donated their time to us. Um, these people make a living doing this, and we're very grateful that they've volunteered their efforts and their time in this work. All the artists are volunteering their time. A local paint company has donated the materials, and so there's been little to no cost to citizens of Columbia to have this project incepted and then seen through to completion. You know, it was interesting, Mike Sleed, who was kind of the lead artist for this, put nine artists together because that's the number of places we had to put these murals up. Um, but he made the comment he could have gotten 40 or more. So it looks like there's just tremendous support for this type of project, especially in the art community. Really kind of the neat thing about this is it's, it's not just a one-time deal. This art was designed and is going to have a sealer over it, so it will make it um, a visual indicator that we need to take care of our stormwater uh, for years to come. I think our goal is, is the same as the city, really, is to make the district a better place, to create some cool art, and also to educate folks about you know, taking care of our storm drains. You know, we want to create a tour so when folks come to visit from out of town, they can take a walking tour and enjoy the artwork and uh, take in the city and come to Roots and Blues and Barbecue Festival. Just want to encourage people Take a walk downtown, look at the fantastic murals that have been painted, think about the next time that you're downtown especially and you've got something that you're trying to get rid of, make sure you don't put it in the stormwater inlets. Make sure too that you know in your neighborhood you're taking care of the stormwater inlets just the same as you would in the downtown area. Grass clipping, leaves, trash, they don't belong there. Help us take care of your stormwater and we'll all benefit from it in the long run.